Hello, in this demo, we are going to see the implementation of inheritance. Now, I will just start a new project, console application, I will name it as inheritance example. We will see how to implement inheritance and one more access specifier that is nothing but protected. So, we are going to see inheritance protected access specifier and various types of inheritance. Now, I will simulate this with the help of an example class say class A and in this class A say I have two variables int x. So, if I am not giving any access specifier then it is nothing but private. So, I have one more variable int y and say this variable is public. Now, this is my class A and as usual if I create the object of class A equals to new A then definitely I can access the public variables whereas I cannot access the private variables from outside the class a dot I can access y but if I say a dot x this is not possible this I can access it whereas this I cannot access can access cannot access so, these are the basic access specifiers that we have already seen private and public. So, by default it is private. So, I will just make it explicitly again private. I will just use the keyword private. Save this. Now, okay, this is fine with my simple class. Now, for example, I have one more class B and in this say I have again two variables one is a private variable private int l public int m now in the same sense like class a i can create the object of class b b equals to new b and i can say b dot m i can access m whereas b dot l I cannot access that. So, I will just write can access here I will say cannot access. Now, these are the simple classes I have. Now, what I want? I want to inherit the class A into class B. So, how do I go for inheritance? I can simply use colon A. This means that class B inherits class A and my class B becomes the derived class and my class A will become the base class or I can say class A is super class, class B is child class. Now, what happens whenever I inherit class A into class B? Now, class B is going to inherit all the members of the class A which are public in this, which are public. So, automatically I will get public int y in this even though I have not declared it. Why is that I am getting this public variable? Because I am inheriting class A and class A contains public variable. Now, I can access even b dot y. y is available. I can access. Can access. So, I can access all the public variables of class A with the help of object of class B because B is inheriting class A. So, this is my simple inheritance. Now, my main intention behind inheritance is to take all the members of my base class into my child class. If we observe, I can take only public variables of base class into child class. I cannot take 
private variables of base class into child class that means i cannot say b dot x i cannot access that cannot access i cannot access b dot x that means i cannot access x why because it is private if a variable is private i cannot access it with the help of the object of the same class so here there is no question of accessing the private variables with the object of drive class so what is that i should do if i want to access x as well i should make this as public now the problem with the public variable is that as per the rules of defining the class all the fields must be private that means i should not give them access from outside the class that is the rule so as per the rule i should put the variables as private but if i put the variable as private i cannot inherit them so what is that i am doing i am putting the variables as public so if i put the variables as public i can inherit them but security there is no security i can access them directly from outside the class so the problem here is if i am making the variable as private i am getting the security but no inheritance if i make the variable as public i am getting the inheritance but no security so what is that i want i want security as well as inheritance so for that i'll be using a variable called as protected if i say protected int z now what happens z gets inherited to class b now how do we know that z got inherited into the class b just i can write a simple method here public void show now here this is my class b now what are the things that this class contain this class contain m i can access m here i'll just say can access m because m is here l definitely i can access because i am in in the same class i can access the private variable can access l why definitely i can access why because it is public and it got inherited into this class b can access y now what about x can i access x let us see no i cannot access x cannot access x why because x is private variable z can i access z let us see definitely i can access z so z is a protected variable it got inherited access z now let us see whether i can access z from outside the class a dot z no i cannot access from outside the class whereas here using b i cannot access from outside the class so from this example what is that uh, we can say if a class is stand alone class protected and private variables are one and the same thing i cannot access them from outside the class if i am going for inheritance protected variable get inherited that means i will have even protected int z present in this protected variables get inherited public variable get inherited whereas private variable will never get inherited into the drive class so if i make the variables as private i was getting the security but there was no inheritance if i make the variables as public i was getting inheritance but no security because i can access them now what i want i want my variables to get inherited with security so i have the access specifier protected so in this video we have seen the simple inheritance concept if i have a class a 
I can inherit that class into the new class B. The new class is called as the drive class and the class which we are inheriting is called as the base class. So I have got drive class and the base class or I can say child class and the super class. And we have seen the protected variable. Thank you.